Greetings, detectives, and welcome to Boiler Room Detective. The case of the premature boiler failure. I was out to dinner on a Saturday night with my family when a friend texted me a picture and said, this is what I'm dealing with tonight. The photo showed a boiler low water cutoff filled with mud and dirt. Seeing the picture, I replied, how's the boiler? Ruined, he said. Ouch, I replied. The failed boiler he mentioned was less than a year old. Like the previous boiler, this one failed by dry firing. Dry firing is what happens when the boiler fires with no water. It is extremely dangerous. An explosion could occur if cool water is pumped into an overheating boiler. The low water cutoff picture texted to me showed the inside of the safety control was filled with mud and dirt. The mud and dirt held the float in place and fooled the boiler into thinking the water level inside was at a safe level when it was actually empty. For some reason, the boiler only had one low water cutoff. Commercial steam boilers need two low water cutoffs. If a steam system loses water, the water must be replaced. When fresh water is introduced to the system, the water is filled with hardness and other things that cause scale to form. In addition, the oxygen inside the fresh water will attack the interior metal surfaces. This causes rust to form inside the pipes. So how could the new boiler fail so quickly? The original boiler failed because of all the leaks in the system. When they installed the replacement boiler last year, none of the pipes that were leaking were repaired. The owner wanted heat as soon as possible. They agreed and the installer said he would come back at a later date to repair the leaks. That never happened. Said so a new boiler failed less than a year after the installation. That leads us to Saturday evening. My contractor friend was inside the building with no heat and the temperatures were forecasted for the teens. Portable heaters were installed but barely kept the building above freezing. It took a week for the boiler to be replaced. This was before COVID when parts were still available. Who knows how long it would take for the parts to be available now. The owner refused to pay for the new boiler, saying it was less than a year old. The manufacturer said the warranty was voided because maintenance was not done. This left my friend in the middle. The owner called the insurance company and informed them that the boiler they just paid to replace needs replaced again. It was decided the insurance company and the owner would cover half the cost, and the boiler manufacturer and the installer would cover the other half. 